Well, it's that time of year again when many people are trying out new rounds of resolutions. And if yours is financial related, you're not alone. Haley Rush with the Fox 12 Investigators has some tips on how to stick to your 2021 money goals. No doubt this year has been difficult for a lot of us for a lot of reasons, including financial ones. But still, people are making money goals in 2021. According to one financial study, 65% of people surveyed considered making a financial resolution for this year. The top three resolutions brought up saving more money, paying down debt, and spending less money. So we spoke with a local financial expert to get his take on how to stay on track. What kind of financial New Year's resolution should people consider in 2021? Well, the New Year is always a great time to think about your goals and to write down your short and long-term goals. And financial goals are definitely a part of that. Craig Kerr is Senior Vice President and a financial advisor with DA Davidson. He says now is the time to write down those goals and then do what's called a financial x-ray, where you gather together all your financial information and put it into a simple online calculator, like one geared towards retirement. It's difficult sometimes for people to think about the long run, um, but uh, using these calculators, that factor in inflation and taxes can really help give you a sense if you're on track or not. He says once you have a good grasp on your finances, you can start looking at what specific goals to tackle. I would suggest to people that even if they feel like they're really far from financial success, that any small change that you can make that you can implement over years and years will make a really big difference. He says that could mean increasing your retirement contribution by 1% this year. A small change, but it really over time will add up. And then on the debt side, if you're going to make maybe an extra $100 per month payment on your mortgage, and you can chop years off of uh, the mortgage by doing that. Finally, he says take advantage of the all-time low interest rates we saw in 2020. Uh, for anybody with debt, they're going to want to look at opportunities to possibly refinance that debt, maybe shorten the payments. Um, and then for uh, folks who have money in, in savings accounts or certain types of bond funds or CDs, you know, those rates are really low and they may want to consider other types of investments or using that cash to pay down debt. So there's a number of potential opportunities out there. Kerr says there are great resources online to help get people's finances in check, like those online calculators he was telling us about. Now he says if you're someone who needs someone to walk you through the process, certified financial planners are another great option. Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.